I'm here with Weather Underground's Dr. Jeff Masters. Dr. Masters, do you like to make a prediction for an entire hurricane season? I don't personally make seasonal hurricane predictions for a couple of reasons. Number one is it's hard to do. I mean, it takes a lot of experience and a lot of understanding about hurricanes to come up with the sort of statistical models we use to make those predictions. And number two, those predictions aren't very good. I mean, the odds of the prediction being accurate are not a lot better than throwing dice. So uh, I figure why go to a lot of effort to make a forecast that's going to be wrong almost half the time. Last year we saw obviously Superstorm Sandy hitting the East Coast. We had Isaac come up into the Gulf. Is there, uh, should we have to expect larger storms like that to be coming along? I mean, what's your feeling on that? Yeah, you know, the climate models that we have and the hurricane models we use don't have a lot of detail about how big hurricanes are going to be in the future. But we certainly have seen a number of these very large storms. I mean, not only those two, we saw Ike back in 2008, huge storm. Irene, which hit the northeast, also very large. So we've seen an unusual number of these very large storms. And, you know, continuity is often the best forecast. So. I would expect that maybe we're starting to see these because the atmosphere is warmer and the oceans are warmer too. We'll just have to see how that shakes out. We obviously trust your voice uh, very much when it comes to hurricanes. Is there any particular thing that you look at that really helps you to say, wow, this is going to be a busier time of the season, like water temperatures or El Nino or anything like that that you really see as a, as a pinpoint? Certainly looking at ocean temperatures is important. And not only that, looking at the ocean temperatures in comparison to what they are around the rest of the tropics, and both of those factors this year look like they're going to increase hurricane activity in the Atlantic. Also, we look at upper level winds, how strong they are. And so far this year, it looks like they're around average. And we also look at how much dry sinking air there is out over the tropics. And this year, it looks like there's a lot less of that than we've seen other years. So thus, we have some forecasts for a very active season, which are a high probability of being correct, I think. An active season, but we hope a safe one. Well, may the steering currents be your friend. It doesn't matter how active a season is, if the upper level winds steer them away from land, then you're good.